It is time to knock a home run out of the park, just like Roy Hobbs and The Natural. My name is KT, and welcome to DreamWax.shop. It is Thursday night. It is 7 p.m. That means it's Flash Pack Frenzy time, as well as any other breaks you guys want to break that you bought into that we sold out. We actually sold out. Uh, thank you to uh, Robert Bisson and Steve Larkin came in at the last minute. Literally, I was scrambling here because uh, we sold out of our boop, boop, boop. I mean, this thing was on the site for two days. Two days, I think. 81 Tops Football Cello Pack. We're looking for Joe Montana, rookie card, eight grand. Actually, it was like 10 grand earlier. I mean, like, you know, PSA 10 sell a couple times a year. Went for 10 grand, went for nine grand, went for eight grand. I mean, shoot, I want to say 10 grand, but the last sale was eight. So, you know, I mean, hey, if somebody pulls an $8,000 Joe Montana rookie in the SA-10 out of here, I mean, you know, hey, uh, who's going who's gonna to squabble? Especially when you're paying what? Um, I'm super bright. Hold on, I'm just turning on the light a little bit because I'm br 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 brightening up in here. Um, who's going to complain? Uh, and what was it? It was like super cheap. What was that? That, that, that? that pack is like, it's awesome. I'm so happy we sold it out so fast. Two cards for 12 bucks. I mean, you can't, you can't beat that. I mean, come on, that's a lot of fun. You get in this pack for 12 bucks, you get two pulls, I love it. Uh, we've got Hall of Famer Alan Page on the top, and he's gonna go random, we're gonna randomize him to the list when we're done breaking. Number, spot number one is gonna go uh, to somebody. They'll get, they'll get him as a bonus. Um, but what I love about this pack, and I'm sure you guys noticed this, one, I mean, it's a nine. It's super pristine. It's super uh, great. That the nine actually has nothing to do with the the card. The cards on top. The cards you can see. It's always. It's it's all about the wrapper. It's about the seal. About how centered it is. Um, but what I love is that this card is super well centered. The top card is super well centered, which is a great sign that th at least the beginning run of the pack is going to be well centered. Um, that's how they run. And uh, anyways, I'm diving right in. I am KT. I am your curator of cards here at dreamwax.shop. If you are tuned in, pop into the chat and say what is up to your boy. Uh, I want to make sure that uh, we are live. I'm seeing on my other computer. We are live. We are good to go. I'm checking the stream strength. It is saying we are good. No drop frames. Man, it is time to break some cards. It is time to rip open some packs, some vintage, some high value, some mid-range value, and, and that maybe just just a little bit of like really nice junk wax. I mean, you know, the five dollar frenzy. We got to throw a, a little bit of fun stuff in there. Uh, you know, a little eighty-seven tops. We, you know, not too much, not too much. You know, junk. But you know, we still got a Teddy Huguera All Star. I, to be honest, I don't even know who Teddy Huguera is. Um, so, but we'll be giving away full sections of this. You know, that's the low end. In the middle of the break, we like to throw a little low end out there. I mean, we, we do a little 1990 whole pack Fleer basketball as part of the frenzy. But you can pull a $100 Jordan, Hundo out of here. You can pull a David Robinson rookie. Um, you know, but then, uh, you know, we got a few other little low end things. I wouldn't say they're junk, but, you know, actually we're chasing a $250 Patrick M M M M Holmes rookie out of these, as well as a Lamar Jackson. But the Frenzy, we got good stuff. We got good stuff in the $5 Frenzy. We got really good stuff. What is up? Joseph Young, Robert Bisson, Jay Reynolds, Chase Lively are in the chat. What is up, my fellas? Man, it's good to see you guys. Robert Bisson, what is up? Man, you guys, you guys, you guys came in and crushed. You guys crushed this 81 pack. It's out. I mean, you guys, I think you guys are digging the, the value breaks because they seem to go really fast. Um, so I'm going to look into some more stuff like that. That's, you know, kind of lower end, but we can pull some really good value out. I love that. Um, but hey, the frenzy, you know, and I'm not talking to you guys because you guys know what's up. You guys are here. You guys are buying like, you know, three, five, ten spots. It's all day long uh, and because you guys know how much fun it is. But the people who find us on YouTube who are like, what is this crazy dude talking about? Why does he want my five dollars? Um, honestly, I don't even want your five dollars. That's for shipping uh, and, and paying for the packs a little bit. But honestly... This, the frenzy is about fun. We're just having some fun. Five bucks gets you in, you get three breaks. This is a paid pack, so, so ignore that one. But tonight, you're gonna get three rips, three spots, three pulls from different packs. 
Uh, one of them is in 1981, Tops basketball, uh, baseball, Tops baseball. We got 82 Tops baseball. We pulled, we broke one of these three weeks ago and pulled a beautiful, crisp, great, I mean, almost perfectly centered Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card out of here. Uh, that's like six hundo in a 10. Um, we've got 89 score. This is new to the frenzy. 89 score football. You got Barry Sanders rookie in here. Uh, I know there's some other rookies that are great in here. Uh, we're breaking that. This is new to the frenzy. 83, 1983, Tops baseball. Who's that on the, who's on the front there? A little Johnny Bench action. A little Johnny Bench action guaranteed on the front. That's always good. I, I didn't plan it this way, but I was talking to our buddy Corey Ramsey over text uh, a couple hours ago, and I was talking about what we're breaking. And that's right, Robert Bisson, he pulled that Ripken Jr. Did you send it off? Are you going PSA with that? Because we would love to hear how that goes. I know it'll be like nine years before we get it back from PSA. But I want to see that bad boy graded because it was, it was nice. It was super clean. And let's pull another one. Let's pull another one out tonight. Um, I was talking to Corey Ramsey, uh, one of our regulars here, and a huge aficionado of especially vintage 80s and 70s baseball. Good dude right there. I was texting with him and uh, over Facebook, and we were chatting, and it dawned on me that we were doing 81, 82, and 83 tops baseball. So it's sort of like this uh, 80s baseball theme. You know, we didn't plan it. We got some 87 baseball thrown in there too, but we've got some football. We got some 88 football. We're still looking for Bo Jackson, um, but there's some. There's some like I, I'm trying to read through the front of the the pack here, and and you know I. I it looks like I'm playing with y'all, but that is Joe Montana on the front. So we got a Joe Montana guaranteed, amazingly centered, Hall of Fame, of course, goat, arguably the goat uh, with Brady, but we got Joe Montana on the front of this. I mean, loaded packs. I mean, not just good packs, but good packs with Hall of Famers on the front. You know, Johnny Bench, Joe Montana. Um, so yeah, so that, we're breaking some good stuff tonight. It's gonna be fun. Again, if you're tuned in for the first time, five bucks, get you in to this break. Uh, I mean, we're, we're pretty much sold out here. Um, I'm gonna close it up actually right now because we went over, we, we, we oversold it. We technically oversold it. I'm gonna make sure we didn't have any last minute orders get in, but I'm gonna shut it down. Uh oh, did somebody, buy, did somebody just come in and swoop up some packs? Oh my gosh, they did. Jason Kaiser came in, he snapped up three more spots. Oh my gosh, we might have to throw another pack. We are gonna throw another pack into this. Um, and we're gonna have to do some admin because I don't have enough sleeves. We, we have oversold the frenzy, but that doesn't mean we, we start, like people get less stuff. When we oversell the frenzy, we add more good stuff to the frenzy. You're getting good stuff. Uh, so um, let me go in and let's close it out. If there's any spots left, I'm, I'm shutting it down. I'm shutting it down. I'm shutting it down, where is it? There's one, there's one spot left, we're killing it. We're killing it, out, 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 out. Because we're not going to break for seven hours. Zero. Zero spots. Done. Zero spots. And we, we got to do a little bit of uh, admin to get these extra spots in. But Jason Kaiser, welcome. Good good on you grabbing up those last three spots. Kyle Stinchcomb, what is up, bro? Welcome back. Welcome back. Kyle's one of our OGs. He's been in every single frenzy back six months ago, and we were giving them away for free. We did like the first three frenzies were 100% free. We just gave it away. We gave away the house. My wife thought I was crazy because she's like, who pays for the shipping? I'm like, we do. Who pays for the cards? I'm like, we do. But it was a lot of fun. We were launching the site. We were getting it going. We wanted to get the word out. So we gave away a bunch of Buku packs and Buku cards. So, um, yeah, we, we got to do, we, I got to get a couple more um, sleeves. I've got to do some admin here real quick. The other thing we're going to do tonight, which is different, uh, we are going to actually randomize the order of the Frenzy Breaks. So uh, we never did that before, and it dawned on me today, I was like, we could do it that way because I'm always having such a hard time figuring out what we're going to break and what order we're going to break it. Uh, you know, that's kind of why we call it a Frenzy because I'm at this frenzied pace trying to figure out how to break, when to break, who to break, and make sure everybody gets good stuff. And it's all randomized. We randomized, we randomized the randomized. So everything's random. Um, but now the random is going to decipher, uh, is going to decipher what order we break in. 
So it's, it's like a thousand times random. Let me get some stickers, make sure we got enough. So at last count, we had 39 spots, but that's, that number is about to go up because uh, we had some last minute sales. So, so let's see, Jason Kaiser, you got in, in like Flint, three spots, boom, boom, there you go, we're in. All right, uh, and then just so you guys know, if you're tuned in for the first time, go to the website, www.dreamwax.shop and sign up for the mailing list. I mean, make an account, even if you don't buy anything, make an account or just sign up. I think there's an option there to just put your email in. And uh, we send out a handful of, we send out a code every week with the, with the email list when we let you guys know what's shaking. Usually Monday, sometimes Tuesday. We keep an eye out for it because there's a code in there and we give away a, a nice handful of free spots. Um, every every week, so we give away like eight to ten spots for free. Um, so get in there and, and grab it. I mean, our OGs, our OGs are in. Like within minutes, they're snapping up the spots, so they go pretty fast. But it's first come, first serve. Uh, get the email and, uh, and and get grab yourself one free spot. We give away one free spot, first come, first serve, per order. So, but then we do eight to ten or so um, across the board. So let's see. Let me do a quick little admin. Make sure everybody's got. Their numbers. Here, give you a little, little hype music. I don't even know what I'm doing here. My, my, my numbers are off. My numbers are off. You got me all out of whack, guys. I can't even count. I don't know how I'm gonna break some cards. I gotta find my snippers. I didn't even find my snippers. So, to, to crack this PSA, because we didn't have anything lined up, and then a couple guys, including uh, Robert, you, you guys popped in and you sold this bad boy out. So, um, you know, there you go. I gotta find my snippers. I got my, uh, my, cut, my, 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 my GAI cutters, but the PSA, you need the big tools, you need the big guns. So, um, oh, let me see. One second. One second. Oh, no, 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 no. Throw it on the back. Hold on a second. We are so out of whack here. Forty-five, forty-five. 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45. You guys are throwing me off my game, off my mojo. But that's okay. We got tons of mojo here at DreamWax.shop. I was right. I was right the first time. I was right the first time. Okay. We'll double check it when we get close to those cards, and I will do the next polls when we get to the next polls. So, we got the mojo tonight. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. A couple weeks ago, we, uh, we released the mojo over some cards and pulled a beautiful $150 Jordan 88 clear Michael Jordan. It was, it was a cool moment, it was a cool moment. I think, Robert Bisson, you pulled that too, didn't you? That went to you, or was that Chase Lively? Oh, we've got we've got a special guest in the chit chat right now. Mrs. Thomas, my wife, is popping in. She's tuned in. She's with the babies. Hello, Georgia. Say hello, fellas. Be on your best behavior. The wife is in. The wife is hanging. She's in the chat. Um, okay. We're still only 16 minutes in, and we're gonna we're gonna dive in right away. Even though we had some last some last minute finagling, we're still gonna break within 15 minutes. So let's get our names together. Our full 30, uh, 46, 46 names. Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna cruise through through some uh, some breaking tonight. We had a run on packs at the end, and we are just crushing it. So. Where's our, we are pulling up, that is our list from last week. We were pulling up our list, boom. Nope, that's not it, a random, here we go. There we go, there's a random, I got our names in. We are going to randomize this list, the frenzy list, nine times. I mean, when we got 46 people, we gotta do it nine times. We're gonna be here till eight o'clock randomizing. One, two, Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. And here we go for the final order of the entire frenzy, top to bottom, number nine. There we go. Jason Kaiser, the, the, the late, the late Jason Kaiser leads this off in the one spot. Jay Reynolds, you close this out, and there's a whole bunch of ripping in between all night long. So here we go. We're getting our order. Random is in the books. top let's see we'll do we'll split it in half we got 46 so actually we can't even let's see 20 yeah all right we'll chop it in half there we go top 23 you are up you are up and in now as i said we're, we're doing a little uh a little change of pace tonight we're we got to pull one more pack we're going to randomize our packs and we're going to find the order uh, and it's gonna it's gonna tell us where we're at. So let me let me find a one. More. You know what? Let me see. Are we gonna have enough? Yes, we will. I thought about putting this in, but I didn't. And it is uh, 1989. Opeachy. This is Opeachy, right? Yeah. We're gonna do the Brett Hall. We're gonna go Brett Hall, Brendan Shanahan rookie, Opeachy pack right here. That is now in the mix. So. So, 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 let me add that to our list. I'll just put OPG pack, because it's the only one. And now let's randomize the order of breaks for the night. I love this idea. This is how we're gonna, this is how we're gonna roll. This is how we're gonna roll from now on. We're gonna randomize the frenzy. That's how crazy it's gonna be. I don't even decide anymore. I don't even headline, close, whatever. I mean, if we have to close with uh, 1987 Tops Baseball, then, uh, you know, so be it. That's what the random says so there's i'm gonna get rid of our list for just a minute sneak out and random there we are there's our list there's our list of breaks for the night let's see how many times we're gonna randomize the breaks eight times geez come on come on dice randomize one two three four five six seven Give us something, give us something good at the end. Let's see. All right, we're closing with the 83 baseball. That's a great pack. That's a loaded rookie pack right there, and that's a cello. And we're gonna open with 88 tops football. All right, you know, we're still, we're still due for a Bo Jackson rookie. We've been breaking every week for a while. We've been breaking some 88. Uh, so we are, we are due for, I'm gonna put my list down here. There it is, oh, all right. We are due for a Bo Jackson rookie. That's like the whole reason we are breaking that stuff. We're looking for Bo Jackson. We have not pulled a Bo Jackson rookie yet on the show, and I'm disappointed. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. But, all right, the random has spoken. Random.org, completely independent, transparent website. Chase Lively is watching the Flyers Panthers right now. There you go. So we got some hockey for some hockey. So Chase Lively, he his personal collection has Bo. So I mean, yeah, who doesn't who doesn't collect Bo Jackson? Come on, come on. Who doesn't? Did this this might be a dumb question, but I don't think Bo Jackson is Hall of Fame, is he? Bo Jackson, which is which would be like a shame. That that can't be. I mean, I know he had like a five minute career, but he should be. has earned the honor to be inducted to both the Hall of Fame. He, okay, he's, he's in both. He's in both, correct me? All right, he's in both, great. All right, for some reason I heard somebody said that he was in Hall of Fame, um, but he is. He's in both according to this quick Google, unless I misread it. So yeah, all right, yes. Techno Bowl Hall of Fame, heck yes. You can crush some Techno Bowl. Oh my goodness. We, you know, I bought, uh, I bought that vintage 
um, micro NS uh, Super Nintendo, not Super Nintendo, and original Nintendo that they repriced it. Techno, Tech Mobile wasn't in it. Neither was Goonies. Goonies 2 was not in it. I was so I was bummed about that. Goonies 2 is my jam on the original Nintendo. Um, so anyways, we're at 88, 88 football. Let's dive in. 88 with Joe Montana on the cover. Love it. Love, love, love. I'm going to grab my snippers too. I'm going to have my snippers handy so that when we get there, we are good to go. Oh, there they are. Got them. I didn't know I was going to need these. I didn't know I was going to need these bad boys tonight, but we do. We are in. We are in, 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 in. Let me grab my frenzy box. All right. Even with some last minute sales and just, you know, blowing up some product, we're still breaking 20 minutes in. All right. We like to break pretty quick here at dreamwax.shop, but sometimes we've got some admin, we got some sales, we got some stuff, and we got to take care of some business, but uh, we're good to go. We're good to go. Get some hyped up music going, some hype, hype, hype music. Our spots. did not grab, which we're going to need a ton of. I'm, I'm prophesying. We're going to need a ton of this tonight. We're going to need a ton of card savers. Because you know, when we've got card savers, that means it's a big hit. That means it's a big card. So, come on, Mr. Mr. Card Savers. There we go. Fresh box for a bunch of fresh pulls tonight. Let's pull a big old rip stack out because we are going to be pulling some madness, some rookies. We've had some really great weeks. We've had uh, a couple massive Jordans, as we talked about earlier. 88, we had an 88 Fleer basketball base Jordan. We also had, uh, we had a. Uh, 89 Fleer Basketball All-Star Michael Jordan sticker. It was, that was beautiful, too. Uh, so, yeah, number one spot, Jason Kaiser, you were in last minute, and that got you. Boom. Number one, right off the top, Joe Montana. In like Flint. Jason Kaiser, that's you. We got some Hall of Fame action to go, like, out of the gate right there. I think it's only like seven, eight bucks as a card, maybe even a little less. Uh, it's not a huge value card in the, eight, in the 88, but it's Joe Montana for crying out loud. Spot number two, Anthony Black. You get Packers, Epps, ready for contact. Spot number three, John Thomas, Lorenzo Hampton. And spot number four, John Thomas, Robert Bisson. Oh, Robert Bisson, round number four. Oh, look at this. It's, a, it's the Joe Mo. It's the Joe Mo pack. It is the Joe Mo pack tonight. Spot number five, John Thomas. Give it to you again. Perfectly centered. Joe Montana, record breaker. Boom, boom. I mean, five cards in. Another Hall of Famer right here, staring us in the face. I mean, you know, what, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? We got Hall of Famers all over the place tonight on the show. Let's get a little value on, uh, let's, let's, let's pull these Jomos up. These Jomos. See what, see what kind of value we got. Checking the phone, seeing if we got any Facebook messages. Uh, it's also telling me if I'd have saw my phone, I'd have saw that Jason Kaiser was like, yo, I want to get that, uh, I want to get that Jomo on top. So that, I would have seen the sales right there. That I would have known, but I didn't. I'm not looking at my phone. A anyways, we got, let's keep the ball rolling. Hall of Famer, Kellen Winslow. Spot number six, Jay Reynolds. There's your first poll of the night, and I know it won't be the last. Beautiful 
beautiful, beautiful. We are pulling some action early on tonight. So Keller Winslow's, you know, 10 bucks in a 10. Not bad. Let's see what Joe Montana is going for. So we got 25 bucks, $25 on the base, Joe Mo in a 10. A little bit top to bottom there. But beautiful card, Chris, Pat Press. And then you got nice 10 bucks on the record breaker. But it's Joe Montana. Throw it in the personal collection. Throw it in the PC. 20 years from now, we'll be good to go. It will be rolling. We'll be rolling. We will be rolling. And it's just fun. Just fun to have. Just fun to pull some Hall of Fame action across the board. Spot number seven. Leroy Irvins, Jay Reynolds, that's for you. Seems like you're always back-to-back, -back, Jay. I mean, I know you get a lot of spots, so I always see you, you get like a back-to-back -back spot. You're always like 6'7", or whatever. Actually, you're, today you're 6'7". I think that's just your spot. That's your, that's your good luck spot. You got the Moj. Seems like Jay Reynolds, Robert Bisson, you guys definitely got some Mojo. Uh, spot number eight, Seahawks, Warner follows blocking. That's Chase Lively. That's your first pull tonight. Spot number nine, Charles Haley. Jason Kaiser. We are, again, we're looking for Bo Jackson. We've not hit a Bo Jackson. Spot number 10, Ray Childress. That's going to Tom Gatos. Spot number 11, Rich Camarillo. Yeah, yeah, Kyle, this is a... You know, I, when I randomize, you, you guys know me, I always like to lead the frenzy off with a big pack, and we like to close the frenzy with a big pack. So when I decided I wanted, I was going to randomize it, it was like, oh no, in the 88, the 88's a fun pack, but you know, it's, it's not huge. You know, uh, there's not a ton of value outside of the, a big value outside of Bo Jackson. But, so I was like, okay, but I mean, for being a little bit of a lower end pack in the frenzy, um, we're, getting some, we're getting some hits. Nice warm up. Lee Rawson, spot 12. That's going to Jay Reynolds. Spot number 13, Harry Hamilton. That's Robert Bisson. Robert Bisson got in on the 81 pack. We're looking for Joe, Mon Joe Montana. It's a Joe Montana show. Jordan's running threes. We had the three Jordan night a couple weeks ago. Maybe this is a Joe Montana. Three card night. I mean... All signs point to it. Let's. I feel good. I feel good about it, dude. It's a beautiful pack. It's a, it's a like one of the best looking packs we've ever had in the site. Even though it's a lower end buy at you know technically six dollars a card. Pepper Johnson, spot fourteen. Jay Reynolds. There's a thousand yard club and our gum. Henry Ellard. A little bit of. Let me pull out some Kleenex because we got a little bit of gum action. And we got another huge Hall of Fame, you know, Joe Montana sidekick. I wouldn't even say sidekick. I don't want to do that. I don't want to disrespect Jerry Rice. I don't want to dis disrespect a little Jerry Rice by calling him the sidekick. Hall of Famer, goat in his own right. Spot number 16. That goes to John Thomas. The record breaker. We got the Joe Montana, the Joe Mo, and the Jerry Rice record breaker. Pulling in. Let's, uh, you know what? I'm feeling good. We, I told you we're going to use a lot of these card savers, so let's card saver some of these bad boys. Make sure they keep it, keep it nice and fresh. Spot number 17, Eddie Brown. Man, it's like Hall of Fame quarterback crazy. Kind of, kind of funny, you know, that, that we have a, uh, it's, it's kind of funny that we got back-to-back -back Hall of Fame 49 quarterbacks, Super Bowl quarterbacks. I mean, we're just going to wear out the zombie nation button tonight. Steve Young. Take it. I don't know why I just card savered off Eddie Brown, but I did. Maybe I was thinking, I was thinking Steve Young, but, uh. There you go, spot number 18, William Smith. You got a nice Hall of Famer right there. Uh, Lions. 
A nice lion's card. Man, the centering in these is great. Jones stretches for more. Spot number 19, Jay Reynolds. A little loopy tonight, I think. I don't know. It must be the, 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 the Joe Montana in the air. The Joe Montana in the air. <whistles> Keith Willis, spot number 20. John Thomas. Spot number 21, Mike Bell. Spot number 22, we got the John Thomas run at the end here. Spot number 23, no, 22, John Thomas again. Matt Booza. And spot number 23, closing out the first half of the rotation, Mark Haynes. You guys hear that by chance? In this warehouse space that I am building out currently, there's like framing, like crazy framing over here. We were framed out the office, it's amazing. Uh, our new studio space, uh, both for the broadcast and for my day job, which is music uh, stuff, music business, music, jazzy bazzy. Um, but in this space that we are in, We've got other spaces down, and um, we got we got a band uh, rehearsal space. Handful of things down, so you hear them a little bit, but it's all right. A little background music, I don't mind. It's good because I need to find more samples. I gotta find more music other than uh, the, the ones I have, but I think the ones I have are pretty nice. Oh, we gotta we gotta flip the list. We're flipping the list. Twenty-four through forty-six. Go. Xavier Gakusen, you are in the one spot now. Albert Bentley. Spot number 25, Frank Pollard. We are still looking for some Bo Jackson. Man, maybe he's the, like the elusive Favre. We broke, when we first started the, uh, the broadcast, we broke a, from a sealed case, BBCE graded, authenticated 1991 Stadium Club pack. Spot number 26, uh, not pack, box. And we did it, the only reason we, we did the box is because I wanted to pull a Brett Favre rookie. And we pulled everybody, every big card out of there, all the, the higher value cards. You know, it's not a huge, uh, a huge, you know, it's, it's borderline junk wax, but uh, Favre is like 100 bucks, 100 and a quarter, something like that, I don't know, floating around there. And there's a couple of guys worth 30, 40, 50 bucks um, here and there. We pulled everybody, multiple ones of all the other big cards. We didn't pull Brett Favre rookie. I don't know. I was so bummed. So this, maybe, maybe it's just not meant to be. But we got some good action out of these 88 packs. To be honest, this is my last 88 solo. So we'll bring them back, but we'll take a break for a minute uh, before we do any more, you know, stir it up. We got a bunch of new product today, actually. 83 tops. Love that. We got some, uh, the, the score I've been sitting on for a minute. I only got one of those, but I'll get some more. But I've been excited to break that score pack. Get some, some, uh, um, Barry Sanders. We are on to spot number 29. Van McElroy. Again, if you guys are tuned in for the first time and uh, I mess up the name I call out or the number, don't worry, you will get your number. The numbers go to the correct person uh, and everybody gets their cards, even if I call it out a little bit wrong. Spot number 30, Chase Lively. Closing it out, closing out the 88. So, and... First pack in the books, 15 minutes, I love it, I love it. Uh, let's see, what is next on our, I, didn't even, I don't even know, what's next on, our, on our, random, our random organization? Where is, here we go. So, 88 is gone. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of a fun pack, but we, uh, last week, the debut, it is freezing outside in Detroit right now. There's a, there's a, a cold storm freeze warning i mean it's like getting icy icy cold but it is warm in the baseball card world because 2020 tops baseball series one is released it is out so we're breaking a couple of these this is the last one we did one last week we'll do one this week just to celebrate the fact that spring is around the air 2020 is here also a lot of people tuned in you guys might not know what the 2020 tops baseball looks like we literally opened it up the day it came out it came out last thursday 
Um, so you got the first look, and now if you still haven't seen it, here's, here's another second look. And we're looking for inserts, we're looking for rookies. Um, I mean, we don't even know who's going to be this year's, you know, Akuna uh, or, uh, you know, who the big, who the big rookies are going to be. We don't even know. So spot number 31, you are in the one spot. We're looking for autographs. We're looking for inserts. I mean, we're looking for all sorts of good stuff. Um, who knows? Let's just take a look at these cards. Spot number 31, Luis Garcia, Angels, Robert Bisson. You got yourself a Luis Garcia. We got a Future Stars, Braves. Spot number 32, Austin Riley. I said this last week. I don't love the design. I don't. It's a little too future for me. I like, you know, I mean, I don't need it to look old, but I, I like a little cleaner, a little smoother look. So I don't love, I don't love this year's. Just, just being honest, calling it as I see it. I mean, tops, you know, you can't hit every year. You know, it can't be 1975 tops every year, you know? Spot number 33, Trevor Richards, Tampa Bay Rays. Spot number 34, Kenta Maeda, Dodgers. Dodgers are going to make some waves this year. Dodgers are going to make some waves this year. That's Joseph Young. Spot number 35, Jose Urena, Marlins. John Thomas. Spot number 36, Randy Arazeniera. That's Robert Bisson. Hope you like the St. Louis Cardinals. Spot number 37, Jason Kaiser. Eric Fetty. Spot number 38. Spot number 38. Just checking to see if any more sales, but or if Facebook's popping off. Anybody seeing what's up on there? Washington Nationals team card. That's a nice looking card. I see a rookie card. I see a rookie card. Who knows? Maybe this is the next Verlander. Maybe this is the next Nolan Ryan. Uh, we've got Rogelio Armenteros for the Houston Astros. So a nice rookie right there for spot number 39. Joseph Young. File that away. See how he shapes up this year. Maybe you got a nice few bucks on your hand. Matt Olson. Oh, I see a really cool insert coming up. I see a very cool insert coming up. I like that. Uh, Matt Olson, spot number 40, Randall Whittinghill. Spot number 41, Dominic Smith. And then we have a throwback card, celebrating 30, 35th anniversary card for spot number 42. It's a little bit of a hit, Ryan Stefanski. You got a nice Ozzie Smith insert. And this is this is the 83 design, right? Am I am I not mistaken? So we're cracking some of this in a few minutes. I don't even know when it is. When is it? We're, what are we, we're next we're we're doing 81, but that's beautiful. It's a beautiful card. I like this. This is the first thing I really like about the uh, man, and that's that's grade worthy right there. I mean, it's probably a pretty common insert, but I love it. I'll take it. That's a hit. 42, that's Ryan Stefanski. 43, Justin Bieber, the Biebs, Shane Bieber. You guys probably know that story that Topps last year mistakenly wrote on the back of his card, Justin Bieber. So it's kind of a purpose, uh, on purpose error, the Justin Bieber card, the Shane Bieber card. And he's actually really good. He's a great pitcher. He's a really good pitcher. And closing out the pack, Austin Nola. Mariners, spot number 44, Chase Lively. Yep, couple weeks till spring training. Uh, well, actually, spring training just started. I mean, the games will start in what, a couple weeks, but uh, pitch, uh, pitchers and catchers reported two days ago. So it's it's starting. It is here. Um, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm, I'm, I'm antsy. In my music studio, I actually have a, uh, a TV up on the wall. Um, I didn't do it the la last couple years, but I've had... TV mounted specifically to just have the Tigers playing in the background while I'm working on music. Um, oh, that's not what we're breaking next. We're breaking 81. And to just to keep the Tigers on. And uh, you know what? The last 
place uh, my studio was, I did not set that up. And you know what? In good faith, believing the Tigers are finally going to turn it around, I need to put my flat screen back up on the wall so I can have my Tigers on 24-7. Keep an eye on it. Get the, get, the, get the excitement running again. All right. Where are we at? 7.43. 8 o'clock is when we break our paid packs, is what we call them, because we got our frenzies, our frenzy packs, and our paid packs. We got another few minutes till we start diving into the paid pack of the night, that 1981 Tops football, the Joe Montana pack. But we are, we are at Chase Lively, and we are, you are getting the one spot of the 1981. We're on 81 Tops Baseball. Here we go. So, so if you just tuned in, we, we, we don't just break 2020. Actually, that's really rare that we break something like that. We're doing that for fun. We're doing that just to because we love the hobby, we wanna see what's up. And uh, that's why we also guarantee three pulls. So that if you do get on like a lower end, um, you know, a lower end break, you still get, you'll still end up most likely getting in on a very nice break like an 81 uh, tops. You know, we wanna make sure you get your value for your five bucks. You know, technically a dollar 66 a break. I think it's the best. I say this is the most fun in the hobby. And uh, I also say that it's, uh, uh, the best the best value in the hobby because you can't even go to Walmart for five bucks and get anything so let's see in the one spot we've got oh we've got a gummy card we have a rule here at Dreamwax if, if the card is jacked by the gum we trash it it's in the trash and we and then in spot number 45 we get the next card so Chase Lively you got a one Etchelberger let's see if we can salvage it let's see if we can salvage it and we've got a sticky card. We got, we're a little stuck in spot two. Oh wait, yes, okay, that is spot. Well, looking at the bottom, I'm thinking the bottom, but actually it's a reversed, um, it's a reverse pack because that's the bottom. This is the top. Okay, that's the one spot. Sorry, it's a goofy day. We've been, I've been framing, and building, for the last, for all week. Let's see if we can salvage this. Chase Lively, you are in the one and two spot. Oh no, no, you're in the one spot, and then Jay Reynolds is in the two spot. Oh, it's ripped. We ripped it. So, Juan Etchelberger, you are going in the trash. So, spot number 45, Al Bumpley. Beautiful cards. We're looking for uh, Ricky Henderson, second year. That's a really nice card in here. Spot number 46, and we are done in the first, the first loop of the break. A almost miscut Pete Lecoq. Jay Reynolds closing us out, closing us out. And we are looping back to the top of the order. Twenty-three. Spot number one, Jason Kaiser, you get Jim Wolford. Centering just got a whole lot nicer. A whole lot nicer right out of the gate so turn the page on that last miscut card spot number two another very well centered beautiful Terry Crowley these are actually quite nicely centered let's look at the back a little bit off left to right the front is just pristine perfect so a lot of these cards even even some of the lower end commons can carry quite a bit of weight if they get graded and they come back at 10. So we're gonna, you know, pull up our price guide. Keep an eye on it. 81 tops. Spot number two. That was Anthony Bex. Spot number three, you got California Angels team card. I'm gonna look up that last one, it's Crowley. Keep an eye on some prices. Get our PSA 10s up here. Like I said, it's cold in Detroit right now, so I, I gotta get my uh, keep my Kleenex handy. Get a little paranoid when I'm going through cards with my Kleenex, but it's good because we wanna, you know, we wanna be legit here. We wanna keep keep our keep our hands clean. Okay, and 
so the Crowley. All right, 20 bucks, 20 bucks in a 10. So, I mean, it, you know, that's borderline worth sending. Spot number five, spot number four, Robert Bisson, we got a future stars. Rick Anderson, Rodney Craig, got a little print spot on there too, and Greg Bitchervitz. So nice rookie right there. Are we, this looks like, yeah, this is 81, okay. See, the 82 look very similar. They look very similar. So I got, I got a little scared for a second there. Uh, about that. Spot number five. Just double checking that value there. 282. All right. I mean, hey, you know, nothing to shake a stick at. If it wasn't for the print spot, if it wasn't for the print spot, it, it could flip. Man, the back is perfect. The back is beautiful. The front is beautiful. That, uh, right there. Otherwise, that's 150 bucks. $150 in a 10 right there. Sold four, five months ago. You know, it's about four. Robert Bisson might be worth firing off the PSA. You never know. So sometimes they sneak up on you. California Angels in the sixth spot. Jay Reynolds. Five spot, five spot, John Thomas. Hit and win. Who's gonna win that? Spot number six, Jay Reynolds. Ken Landrew. Little top to bottom. Spot number seven, Greg Gross. Jay Reynolds. Spot number eight, Chase Lively. You got Dan Erog, top to bottom, left to right, sliding off, sliding off a little bit. Spot number nine, Mariners, or Minnesota Twins. Where's Corey Ramsey when we need him? Where you at, my friend? Get back in the brakes. This is a good one. This is a good one to be in. That, that, one, that one is for you. That would have been for you. I bet you it would have been. But instead, it is for Jason Kaiser, spot nine. Spot ten, Doug Raoult. Spot number 11, and nearly closing out the pack, Rob Wilfong, Minnesota Twins. There's another Minnesota Twins for you there, Corey Ramsey. But instead, that is going to Ryan Fabanski. Spot number 12, Jay Reynolds, Mickey Hatcher, closing out our 81 baseball wax pack. Now, to be honest, let's take another look. Let's, let's skim through again. Not... A ton. I mean, if it wasn't for the surprise Rick Anderson rookie, uh, this would have been a crap pack. Would have been a crap pack, to be honest. Um, just being real with you, but we're not going to flush it because we got a $150 potential rookie in there. So salvaged it. Salvaged it. Uh, another rip in the bank. What's up next? I don't even know. I, I'm not even looking. I have no idea until I start looking at the list to see what is the next break. Okay, we're, we're switching gears radically here. I love it. It's just like back and forth, back and forth. Uh, next up was 2017 Don Russ football, which is 2017 is P -p 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 Patrick Mahomes rookie. This is what we're looking for here. A bunch of other good rookies in here too. So, let me pull this up. So we got whole packs, five of them. We've been pulling some monster rookies out of here. We are looking for the rated rookie. We are looking for Patrick Mahomes, which last week was going regularly for 230 to 250 bucks. I'll bet you it's gone up a little bit. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Uh, 20. 17, Mahomes, PSA, 10. Let's see where we're at. Recent sales. Rated rookie, Don Ross, where are we at? 230, 230. I should have refined it, here we go. 230, so it looks like we're still, yeah, we're still about two to 250. Two to 250 on the Mahomes, skyrocketing. I mean, 
to be honest, this isn't even really a junk pack anymore. This isn't a junk wax. This isn't low end. It's beautiful. That's a beautiful pack. We can pull some really nice. And I mean, you, you pull that Mahomes, get it graded, and just put it in, put it in the closet, put it in the personal collection, and just sit on it. You know, um, because. Because, 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 that's just going to go up. That's just going to go up and up. So first hole pack goes to spot 13, Robert Bisson. Walter Payton on the front. Nice legend card right there. Amari Cooper, Devontae Parker, and the last card, which is not a, it's a rookie card. The rookie's always on the back. It's not a rated rookie, but it is a Garon Conley rookie card. So, got a nice Walter Payton in there. You know, Mari Cooper, not too bad. Spot number 14, Jay Reynolds. We, again, we are looking for rated rookies on the back. Jason Pierre-Paul on front. Terrell Suggs, nice legend card. We got a rated rookie. We got CJ Fidelsky, Figurovka's. And then the rated rookie is Samej Perrine, Washington Redskins. So, not the rated rookie we're looking for. Is not the droids you are looking for. Not the rated rookie we're looking for. Spot number 14. Spot number 15, Jay Reynolds, back to back. Mahomes, 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 Mahomes. Nice Sam Bradford. Wow, there you go. Sam Bradford. Is he still in the league? Who's he with? Who's he backing up right now? I like Sam Bradford. To be honest, he he played, I think, in the national championship game uh, in, what, 2008 or something? Uh, he played Stafford. Uh, he played Georgia. I forget who Bradford was with, but he played Georgia in the national championship game, and he won. I think he beat Stafford, Matt Stafford, and when we, when they declared, Bradford did not declare the year of Stafford. He declared the year after. And I was bummed because I wanted Bradford. I was like, Bradford, come on, we declare so we can grab you number one. Instead, we took we took Stafford, which actually, I mean, worked out really great for us. And uh, so I love, and I'm, I'm a Stafford fan, as my wife very much knows. She teases me. She thinks I drink the Kool Aid. I mean, you know, he's he's got he's got to have a good year and. Come back and get over these injuries the last couple years, but you know Stafford. Uh, Stafford's a good quarterback, man. Anywhere else with support around him, oh man. If he was with the, if he if he had got drafted by the Cowboys, he'd have been to the Super Bowl probably probably a couple times. So, anyways, that's that's a big hot take right there. Sam Bradford, Robert Kelly. There's a rated rookie on the back. We are looking for Mahomes. It's upside down. I see Josh Reynolds. Oh come on. Man, that early, the early show mojo with all those with all those Hall of Famers is kind of, kind of worn off, kind of worn off. I mean, you know, technically it's a, it's kind of a crap pack, but it could be a crap stack because technically I consider this all one pack. So we might have to flush it if we don't get something good here. We might have to flush these packs. To be honest, to be honest, TBH spot number sixteen, John Thomas, Ryan Matthews. Steve Smith Jr. We got a rated rookie. David Johnson on top. And come on, let's save the packs. Malachi Dupree. Not saving the packs. We are, if, this, if this last card, we're flushing all of them. We're flushing all of these packs. But this doesn't have a good rated rookie. We're going we're gonna to deem this. A, an, it's not, there's no rated rookie. I see it. There's no rated rookie. So unless there's like an autograph in here. Devontae Booker, Jarrell Casey, Kyle, Jurzichkers, and Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett rookie card. I mean, you know, he's out of the league right now technically because he's suspended. But that could be that could be some value, you know. So just because I love you guys pulling monsters and Miles Garrett is out of the league right now. You know, you got a Walter Payton base, but that's a, a dollar. So we're going to keep it real. Oh, oh that's a stinky one. That's a crap pack. We're flushing it. We're flushing those. We're flushing those. 
Don't worry, I've got, uh, I got um, some more of those, which we'll throw in a few, a few more next week. We're, we're, on the, we're on the lookout, I love it. Oh, I don't even know what's next. Yes, they did. Chase Lively is saying they reinstated him. That's right, um, they did. They did reinstate him, I think in the last 24 hours or something, yeah. So he's back, you're right, he's back, but still, he's gotta redeem himself a little bit. He's, he's a good player though. I think that's a good rookie to throw in. Who, who landed that, spot number 17? Robert Bisson, throw that here. You know what, I'm gonna do it for you. We're gonna throw him in a, in a, in a sleeve for you. And uh, that's not gonna fit, that is gonna fit. All right, that does fit. So I'm gonna throw that in a sleeve for you. And uh, because that's something you wanna throw into your personal collection, bury it, bury it in a box somewhere and see where he's at in 10, 10, 15 years. Hall of Fame career. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe you got a $50 card in 10, 15 years. So throw it in PC, let it just grow, let it uh, mature. Uh, and let's see what's next. Oh, what's next? What's next? It's eight o'clock. It is eight o'clock on the dot. It is time to pause the frenzy. P -p pause. And we are going into. We are going into the eighty tops. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. We've got 27 cards, and so we are going to have to do a little admin real quick, because obviously, again, this thing sold out like right at the last minute. So we've got to label some labels. It's going to take a, a minute, but uh, you know that's what happens when we sell out last minute. I just realized something. You know what I could do? is every pack I have in existence, I should do this, this is what I'll do. I will do, uh, I will do cards in advance. I, I will have the, the, the cases in advance. See, that's why we haven't, that's why we haven't done the grand opening yet. Because we're just working out these little bugs, like having all of the packs have their cards attached to them in advance. See what we're doing here? You know, I mean, we'll figure it out. It's great. So we won't have to do this. Although I listed this thing like literally eight minutes ago, like 48 hours ago, uh, three days ago, something like that. I don't even know. Um, so, and it sold out. It sold out so fast. So 27 cards. And we are randomizing Hall of Fame Alan Page on top. He's going out to somebody randomly at the end of the break. So, but uh, yeah, we, I mean, I just got, I got it in on like Tuesday. I literally got the pack on Tuesday. We, we listed it, and now it's gone. So I love it. We did that with the 75 pack. The 75 pack sold out like crazy fast in like a week, and that was a high end pack. That was a beautiful pack, um, and that was a lot of fun. We we did pull a Tony Perez rookie, uh, not rookie, but Tony Perez Hall of Fame out of our 75 tops mini baseball pack, wax pack. That was that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun, and we pulled some, you know, we, we landed a Hall of Famer. I would have loved a higher Buku, a higher Buku Bucks Hall of Famer, but, um, you know, we will, we'll take uh, Tony Perez. So, we'll take some, you know, we're already guaranteed a perfectly centered, pristine, pack fresh Hall of Famer in this pack, Alan Page. And while you're waiting for me to finish uh, making these, why don't you go over to the site and see what we got up for offer right now. $6.50 pulls you eight cards out of this Jumbo 93 Tops pack. We're looking for Derek Jeter. There is six golds, six golds. So uh, $6.50, I mean, that's a lot of fun. Eight cards. And we're, we're close to selling that out. I know there's been a bunch of sales on it. Um, so check that out, you know, while we're, while we're taking an intermission here getting this 80 cello pack ready to go. It's 81 cello pack. Almost there, 25, 26, 27. There we go, all 27 spots. We've got our 26 names 
ready to go. I do have that ready to go. And we're gonna have to randomize these guys. So here we go. 26 names. Let's pause our list. We are on spot 18. When we come back to the frenzy, William Smith, you are the one spot on the next break. But right now, it is random time. So we've got our 27 spots. Everybody's, each spot you have bought has been doubled up. So if you bought three spots, you've got six spots. Because it was two for $12 to chase some Jomo. Here we go. We're going to randomize it. No eight, nine. If, maybe it's seven. Four, that's a more reasonable number. So here we go. One. Did it go? No, it did not go. One. Here we go. Two. Three. And number four, in the one spot with the Hall of, oh wait, no, that's right. The one spot does not get Alan Page. The random gets Alan Page. So that is our spot. Chase Lively, you are card technically number two. And Joseph Young, you are going to be closing out the pack most likely with a Mano to a Sasopo. And we'll see what it lies in between and underneath and all around. So, I'm excited for this. This is our first one we've done on the site. We will do many more. There we go, 26 spots. entire order and we'll leave our random up there because we will randomize at the end one time to see who gets Hall of Famer Alan Page on top a perfectly centered perfectly cornered beautiful Alan Page that must be that must be uh, number 27 we good we good where are my safety goggles because shrapnel is about to fly everywhere let's wipe them off a little bit Man, I gotta get better at this PSA opening nonsense because it has been slow goings. It is a tough, it's a battle. It's a battle, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. That's why, that's the only reason we haven't grand opened because I'm still figuring this, this, this nonsense out. GAI are easy, but I'm, I'm trying to stay away from GAI. Too much drama and uncertainty with GAI. Um, although we did pull our 88 GAI pack basketball was crazy and insane it was awesome we pulled jordan come on um but uh but so we're not gonna do too many more gais on here we'll talk about that another time i'm gonna do a video on that uh about how i feel about gai grading and my thoughts as it's pertaining to dreamwax.shop but that's for another time right now we're doing psa psa 9 hall of fame hall of fame we are breaking, we are cracking. Let's get a nice big chunk. There we go. Nice big chunk. Let's get her back into it. no flying. Keeps locking on me. Keeps locking on me. That's annoying. There we go. That's a good one. That's a beautiful one. See, it might look a little rough on breaking it, but the pack is actually protected inside of a secondary pack, so no worries on that. Alan Page, top Hall of Famer, in, in the junk, in the trash. Population, one less. There we go. There we go. 
Boom. Love it. A little better. A little better. A little slow going to the beginning. Uh, I'm going to grade that. A, uh, my, my earlier PSA breaks, cracking, uh, I, would, I would grade myself. A four? That one was a six. That one was a six. So, but we'll get better. There's, I'm sure there's a rhythm to it. There's a rhythm to the madness. They, they lock them up nice and tight, so there's no, no, no finagling around with these bad boys. Um, you cannot get in there without uh, making a mess. Woo, I love it, I love it. 81 tops. Here we go. Come on, baby boy. Come on, baby boy. They get them in there, don't they? It's that cello. Okay, there we go. All right. You don't want to peel them out. You've got some PSA. 10 possibilities right on top there. So, we got our slots. Let's pull up our values. So, Joe, Joe Montana in a perfectly centered, pristine, perfect PSA 10 rated goes all day long between eight and $10,000. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're gunning for. We're looking to pull somebody a 10G card. P I, I, honestly, here's my take on the, on the hobby, on sports cards right now. The two best investments right now, which we're involved with both, that in all of the hobby, PSA 10 graded cards, rookies in, in particular, and unopened wax material. Those are the two best values, I think, in all the sports card industry. And uh, here we are doing both. We're breaking, looking for tens. I mean, that's, I, you know, I haven't said in a while. Dreamwax.shop. Pulling gems, chasing tens. That's what we're about. That's what we're about. So the best chance of pulling a 10 is in a unopened, graded, certified pack. So we're in like Flint. Joe Montana, last sold. Uh, five days ago for $8,200. It sold for $15,000 a year ago. Fourteen nine five zero. Fifteen grand. Eleven grand last year. Ten grand. Ninety-three hundred. Uh, Ninety-three hundred uh, a month ago. So we're talking. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I listed eight grand. It's an easy nine, nine to ten with a nice $15,000 spike in there, you know? But that's the thing, PSA 10s, I mean, they're going crazy. They're going crazy. LeBron James rookies were $1,000 PSA 10 a year ago. They're four grand now. So Gary V, I don't know if you guys can follow Gary Vaynerchuk, but Gary V, who's a huge entrepreneurial, uh, public speaker, motivational guy, he is huge into sports cards, and he bought 50 LeBron James rookie cards a year ago. Spot number one, little tiny print error, like a little print bubble on the front. Actually, it's not spot number one. That is going to spot number 27, because we're going to randomize that. The Allen Page rookie, or Allen Page uh, All-Pro Hall of Famer, not rookie. That's going to be randomized at the end of the break. So. After Joe Montana, we're looking for Dan Hampton, 900. Walter Payton, two Walter Paytons in the series. Uh, they're both 600 plus. Dwight Clark is 500. Uh, we've got a bunch of other cards. Colt Team Leaders is 500. Art Monk Rookie, 278. Uh, you've also got a you got Jack Lambert, 235. Ozzie Newsom's in here, Hall of Famer. James Lofton, Hall of Famer, a couple hundred bucks. Uh, there is, who's the other? There's another rookie, a pretty good rookie in here. Kellen Winslow, maybe? Is that the other rookie? But I digress. Let's dive in. Let's keep it going. Spot number one, which is spot number two, Chase Lively. You've got 
Roland Harper. And that is continuing the centering along with the first card. So I love that. That is, that is pristine. That is, the, off, the back is a little off, but the front is perfect. So PSA does give a little bit more slack to uh, the back. If the front is perfect, they'll, they'll be a little bit more lax to the back. They also allow for 5% off centering. So Roland Harper does not have a PSA 10. There's no PSA 10 in existence. So that is grade worthy. Chase Lively, that is grade worthy right there. Spot number two, all pro, Ahmad Rashad, perfectly centered. Robert Bisson, this is going to you. And even better on the back than the last card. So the back is correcting, the front is perfect. So that is another uh, grade worthy card, but we're only looking at uh, 12 bucks um, in a 10. So maybe we're thrown into a bulk lot. Brian Kelly, spot number three, still great centering. Joseph Young, back is still off just a hair. Five bucks in a 10, so nothing to shake a stick at there. Spot number four, Jay Reynolds. Jerry Eckwood. Spot number five, Joseph Young, you got some Hall of Fame action. You got some Hall of Fame action coming up. Spot number five, Joseph Young, Tony Dorsett, super action. <laughs> looking card, nice action shot right there. So we'll take that. 180 bucks in a 10. 180 bucks in a 10. A little top to bottom. But still, here we go. We got our first real nice pull. Packers quarterback David Whitehurst, perfectly centered for spot number six. Chase Lively. Sixteen bucks and a ten. Man, we've got the Hall of Fame pack right here. We're not even halfway through. We're not even halfway through, and we're seeing some monsters. We're seeing some le just legend monsters here. Spot number seven, Joseph Young. You got another one. Jim Plunkett. Record breaker. of value here and not a Hall of Famer actually I correct myself just a great name great name great quarterback for a moment the Raiders 16 bucks in a 10 still nice name nice name spot number eight Frank Lewis a little bit top to bottom but I think still within that five to ten five you know it's probably not five percent as I said before PSA will allow for five percent off uh, OC there's the back spot number eight Joseph Young, that's you. Uh, they allow, and, and they you can still be considered for a 10 at 5% off. So, Frank Lewis is 20 bucks in a 10. Again, we're not looking for $20 Frank Lewis. We're looking for eight grand Joe Montana. Honestly, I'm actually getting pretty excited in this moment. I'm getting more excited because this is a beautiful pack. The, begin, the, the centering was perfect on top, and the centering is staying near perfect all the way through in the first quarter of the pack so i'm feeling really good i'm feeling really good about this spot number nine joseph young you got ray olden so so you know i haven't played my detroit basketball blast in a bit so we need it we need everyone even if it's football even if it's football spot number nine doug Deacon. 
Joseph Young. Joseph Young. I was, that was spot 10. I stand corrected. Steve Larkin. Uh, jo but uh, Joseph Young, you are all over this pack, my man. Spot number 11, Lewis Wright. Steve Larkin. Steve Larkin is tripling it up here. Spot number 12, also Steve Larkin, Ray Wershing. Let's look up a couple of these. Lewis Wright's 20 bucks. Ray Wershing is 10 bucks. So Steve Larkin, you've got a little bit of a a little bit of a bum, bum run right there. That was a little bit of a crap run. You'd flush three cards in a row. Uh, but here we are, spot 13, John Bunting. We're flipping the pack, and the centering still looks good, which for 1981, that's, that's, good, to, that's good to see. Um, that is good to see. Spot number 13, the back, the back actually is looking nicer too, a little better. Slowly shifting, slowly shifting. Gum card is good time for a water break. We got the gum card, it's loose. No damage, love that. Love, love, love that. Spot number 14. Steve Larkin, you're back in it with Ricky Feature. Twenty-five bucks in a ten. He's a little OC, a little off center. It's one thing. Uh, even the kickers look burly back in the '80s. We've got Mark Mosley, Redskins kicker for spot number fifteen. Joseph Young. Spot number 16. A somber looking Roger Carr, wide receiver, perfectly centered, some prayerfully looking, somber looking, whatever you want to call it. That's Joseph Young. And that is you. I wonder if it's like David and Derek Carr's father by any chance. I wonder, I wonder. Let's Google that real quick, because we've had, what do we have? We had uh, Bosa, we had the Bosa father in one of our packs last week. Spot number 17 does not say anything about being the father of the Carr brothers. It's Gary Ellis, Steve Larkin, off-center. Spot number 18, Bob Thomas. Come on, Jomo. Let's get some Jomo. Let's get some Jomo Mojo. Jomo. That was Jay Reynolds. Spot number 19, Jay Reynolds also. Mark Brammer. Very well centered. Back is a little bit top to bottom, but the centering in the front has returned. Twelve bucks in a ten. Spot number nineteen, Mike Bragg. There's only a few cards left, but I'm, I'm kind of feeling good about it. I'm kind of feeling good about it, to be honest. So gentle going in, even to, even the penny sleeves. We want to be careful because anything can throw off a PSA 10. But that's why we penny sleeve it. We penny sleeve them and card saver them, just you know, just to really get them get them in there good, get them protected. Spot number 21, Joe Klecko. Jay Reynolds. Spot number 22, Steve Larkin. Mike Gun, and then we got 23. Oh, I don't know why, but for some reason the colors made me think. Doesn't even look like it, but the colors made me look 
Jomo. It made me think Jomo for a minute. After this, Joseph Young, you're closing out the pack. So I'm kind of slowing because, you know, we're, we're at the end of the pack. I'm slow rolling a little bit. Gordon King, very well centered. Robert Bisson, is that 23? Yep, Robert Bisson. And we know Jomo is not on the back. So spot number 24 is Mike Fuller, the last opportunity. Unless there's, I think there's extra cards. I think there's, if there's extra cards, we get to the bottom and then we randomize the extra cards. So unless I'm off here or something. Maybe, no, no, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just mental. We're on 24, we got, we got spots. I'm looking at 26, 24, 25, 25, anyways. Anyways, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Spot number 24. Joseph Young, Mike Fuller. There's supposed to be 27 cards here. We did 26 spots, plus Alan Page is going to get randomized. So, there might be one extra card in this pack. Mike Fuller, safety, chargers. 25, Jerry Sizemore. Spot number 26. It looks like there's one extra card in this pack. So, you know, bonus. Bonus. There's Jerry Sizemore. I don't know why, but I feel like looking him up. Nope. Seven bucks and a ten. A little OC here and there. So, spot number 26, closing it out, is Kent Hill. A very well centered Kent Hill. So it looks like we've got two cards to randomize. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes they're a little short, and then we give a refund, and sometimes there are too many cards, and we randomize them. So that's spot number 26. Let me double check it. Let me make sure we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So, spot number 27. Where did my extra, there they are. So, we're gonna randomize Manu Tua Sapopo Get a value on him. Let's see if there's anything really. 25 bucks in a 10. He's quite nice looking. And then Alan Page. Alan Page, I looked up before uh, we listed the pack. And even though he's Hall of Fame, he's, there's not a lot of value there. There's not a lot of value. I think 25 bucks, so I'm $20. But still, it's beautiful and it's grade worthy. Uh, it's got a little bit of a, a print thing in the top left corner, which you can't really see in the cello. But still, something to add to your personal collection. Hall of Fame is Hall of Fame. So let that pretty much closes us out, but let's get our random. And so we are going to just randomize one time each time for each card. We're going to do mono first and then the finale with Alan Page. So here we go. In the one spot is Joseph Young. You get the mono. Whatever did I put? My marker. Did he go running off? Did he go running off? Here he is. Joseph Young. How's it going to you? A little bonus. And then, Hall of Famer, closing out the pack, Alan Page. Spot number one is going to. Joseph Young again. You landed both. That's as easy peasy. It started out hot. It was started out as a hot pack. I will give us that. So, but you know, we did not hit the big ones. No big guns. Ahmad Rashad, there's a name. Nice Tony Dorset. So we definitely started out hot. We could have seen a little more. 
Nice Jim Plunkett. I thought there was one more. Is that it? Started out strong and then dudded. Not quite a crap pack. And then we got Alan Page, Hall of Famer. Not bad. No Jomo. No Walter Payton. So it's a bummer, but still a couple decent pulls. And we will get another 1981 pack up soon enough because you, you guys seem to have digged that. And we need to get some Joe Montana rookies on here. That would be a beautiful pull. And I love the price point. You know what I mean? You know, for a seller like that, 12 bucks for two cards, $6 a card. I like it. It's a lot of fun. But let's continue with the random. What's next on our list as we move forward and move on? It's time for some 1987 Topps Baseball. Not the, not the big gun I wanted to kick off with, to be honest, but that's how we roll. We got three spots, 87. We're looking for Bo Jackson, Bobo. We're looking for Bobo, and we're looking for Hall of Famers. Spot number 18, we are on you. We call these whole packs because you get a whole section. So, actually, I do need my I do need my little snippers. I didn't think I did, but I do, I do. I do need my GAI snippers. My GAI or rack pack snippers, we can call them. So, spot number, let's pull our, let's pull our list back up. Spot number 18, we are on Jay Reynolds. You get a stack of 87 tops. We're looking for Bo Jackson. Let's get a Bo Jackson just fired up. There's Terry Francona. Gary Carter. I saw Barry, and then I saw the Pirates. I was thinking, oh, Barry Bonds. There's a Barry Bonds in here, too. We got the cards stuck together here. We do. All-Star. We're Wade Boggs. We must have missed out on the Wade Boggs All-Star. Hey! Mark McGuire rookie card. That's a nice little pull right there. Jay Reynolds, add that to the personal collection. I love that. Another Will Clark and Todd Worrell. That was a good pack. I mean, that was a good, that was a good pack. Holy moly. We'll take that. We'll take that. I actually, I think, I think I sent somebody, and that's, that's, that's pretty nice. That's pretty darn sharp right there. I think I sent somebody one of these this week as a surprise insert. Uh, so if you got one, drop in the chat. Let me know if you guys got a, a Mark McGuire. If not, I know I've got one that I'm going to insert to somebody. But now you just you just pulled one pack fresh. So um, let's look this up real quick. Where are we at? Where are we at? Why is that showing up? Come on now. Come on now. Spot number 18, Jay Reynolds. That's a nice little pull right there. You know what I mean? For, for one of the lowest value things we are breaking on uh, this, on the frenzies, I mean, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty okay pull. I'm trying to find value on it. I think it's only like 10 bucks or something like that. But still. Tops Mark McGuire, here it is. We are looking at 40 bucks and a 10. So 40 bucks and a 10. Great worthy, throw it into a throw it into a lot. That's great worthy. Throw it into a lot. There we go. We got some action. That's a throwaway. I mean, this is, you know, when it comes to the frenzy, this is what we call the lower end packs. You know, there's there's not a whole lot in here, but when you pull one of the bigger cards in the set, you pull a Mark McGuire rookie card, actually a fun little rip, a fun little break turned into a nice little pocket. I mean, you know, for $1.66, Jay Reynolds just pulled himself a hypothetical, I mean, if, even if it's a nine, it's 22, 25 bucks, 22 bucks. So 20 to $40 Mark McGuire rookie. So let's get that Bo Jackson. There's some Royals, so that's a good start out. Let's, uh, let's, let's pull that, that Bo Joe. Bojo, Jay Reynolds, you're back to back. You're back to as a future stars with a B. Not, not, not what we're looking for, but 
Terry Kennedy, Dave Johnson, Jeff Jarobinson, Nate Snell, Rick Chu, Gary Reedus, Jeff Lottie, Juan Berenger, Carl Best, John Morris, and Gene Michael. That, my friends, I feel bad that I gotta ship that. Oh my gosh. I feel bad because that's like, that's. Oh, 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 stinky, stinky pack, stinky pack. But you know what? Jay Reynolds, that was back to back, and you just you pulled the Mark McGuire rookie, and that's, you know what I mean? That's, that's worth it. That's worth it. You got a crap pack and a, and a jam pack. That was a jam pack. Teddy Higuero on the top all star. This is going to Robert Bisson, Pedro Guerrero, Don Slot, Dave Drevicki, Jim Morrison, Mookie Wilson, Don Baylor, Joe Hessack, Dave Collins, George Brett. George Brett. Just because we haven't played it yet tonight. A very stout, lean looking George Brett right there. Rich Gossage. Kirby Pocket. That's for you, Corey. Corey Ramsey, there's a Kirby for you. Don Chairman, Gene, Danny Wellington, Tam Pesquea, Dennis Boyd, Daryl Evans. So, not bad, not bad, you know. Corey Ramsey was telling me today that he is a Kirby Puckett collector and he's looking for some autos. So, it's not an auto right there, but hey, Kirby Puckett's Kirby Puckett. You also got Daryl Evans in there, so. All right, three minutes, two minutes, whatever. The 87 is out the window. We must be, this must be like backloaded because we still got a lot of really good stuff to get to, including up next, up next, up next. Let's get some fire going. The Brett Hall Rookie Pack. I love this. I love this pack. We broke one a while back. Uh, and we didn't pull anybody that I can remember. And I got to pull hockey for sure because I don't know the names in hockey. But I do know that Opeachy, Opeachy is worth more than the tops. We've done a bunch of the tops. Um, we've done a few of them, uh, but the Opeachy is quite a bit more expensive. And um, we did pull Mario Lemieux out of the, do we pull it out of the tops or the Opeachy? We did pull Mario Lemieux. I think it might have been out of the Opeachy, the last Opeachy pack. But um, we're looking for Brent Hall. We're looking for Brandon Shanahan. Mario Lemieux is 225 bucks. So there's some good stuff. We are in spot number 21. Jay Reynolds, you're in the one spot. So I think this, I think the tops might have been the one where like Mario Lemieux was in the hole. And I didn't I didn't press the pack. I didn't look at it. Um, I really don't do that. Uh, unless it's like clear as day on front of a cello. But uh, I think that was the one where, where Mario Lemieux was, boom, right on top in the one hole. So Brett Hall, 727. Brendan Shanahan. 460. There's Gretzky, Patrick Waugh, Mario Lemieux, all above 200 bucks. Uh, Robert Bisson's chatting at, at Apici. It is all about the Apici. Yep. We love the Apici. And this is actually this is a higher end pack. This is a little bit of an expensive pack as far as the frenzy is concerned. So, spot number one. Again, we said in the one spot, Jay Reynolds. You got the gum card and it's kind of sticking on there. So, let's see where we're at. Again, if the gum is, if it's unsalvageable, we will, I think it's salvageable. We'll trash it if it's not, it doesn't pop off. First part popped off. I think it's gonna rip. Yep, all right, it ripped. So let's, let's get a little value on him, see what, see what we lost. Not much, 20 bucks. Doug Crossman in the garbage, because he's ripped, he's gone. So, in the real, the new one spot, Jay Reynolds, you're still there. You get a Ron Sutter. And this is what I love about the Opeachy, is it has this like cheaper paper that just makes it feel better. It makes it feel more vintage, more, you know, rare. You know, some nice, uh, some nice paper. Ron Sutter. Spot number 22, Jim Peplinski. Quite OC. Spot number 23, David Shaw. It's going to Robert Bisson.
There's only about eight cards in the pack. It's a small pack too. That's probably why the uh, Brett Hall is worth so much. I mean, it's Brett Hall. It should be worth hundreds, but 700 bucks, it's because it's probably harder to find centered. Randy Wood, spot number 24, Young, Joseph Young, spot number 26, also Joseph Young. You might be closing out the pack. Pele Eklund, man, we didn't, we, this was not a good pack. This was not a good pack. Uh, well, there is no, oh wait, no, I spelled it wrong. Yep, not much. Randy Wood, let's double check that one. So far, no good. And then Steve Dushney closing us out. It's bottom 26 and closing out the first half of the rotation. Twenty-five bucks, you know, twenty-five bucks and a ten. So see, so man, I don't think we played this button very much in the last few weeks. But one, two, three, four, five, six is six cards. That's it. I got six cards. Dang, that was eight. Six cards. Crap pack. Crap pack. I, 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 you know, nice value pack too. That's not cheap. So, uh, all right, but we got some good stuff coming up. We still have. Now we have a, we have a big pack coming up right now. And we had a monster pull. One of the biggest pulls we've ever had on Dreamwax. Dot shop so far to date. A few, two weeks ago. In in this very spot, we had a pristine looking 1982. Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card come out of one of these packs. So, can we do it again? Let's flip our list and find out. Where are we at? Spot number 27. And then we'll go back to the one spot. Where are we at? Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Where did we leave off on? We left off on 26. Why was it? Hold on. I'm having a small glitch in the matrix because I thought we went bottom three spots were all Joseph Young. Were we breaking? We may have been breaking. 81 football list. So that doesn't matter because the numbers still lined up. We were we left off on spot number 18, and the numbers will go to the right people. So let me double check on. And I think the only big poll we had was number 18, which was the Mark McGuire rookie. So let's see who actually that is going to, because I think I was just breaking. Um, that goes, that's going to William Smith. I was breaking on the 81 football list, so I apologize. Oh, again, we are working out the kinks. Uh, accidents happen, but the numbers are still in the right order in the box, and the numbers will go to the right people. You will get your number. So the only big pull out of there was the uh, Mark McGuire rookie, and I'm sorry to say, Jay Reynolds, I think we thought that was going to you um, back to back, but it is going to William Smith. So that's the only really consequential uh, change. And now we're back. Randall, Randall Whittinghill, you are in the number one spot on the 82 tops. Hey, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes we make mistakes. That's why we number. We have several fail safes. The cards are numbered. We have the master list. It doesn't change for the frenzy. So, you know, everyone's going to get their cards. If I miscalled your name, I apologize. I'll, I'll make it up to you. I'll send you, I'll send you a Mark McGuire rookie. If I, I, actually, you know what? I'll do that. Jay Reynolds, I'm going to send you a Mark McGuire rookie. I'm going to write that down. You're going to get one in your box, in your pack this week. Mark rookie Jay Reynolds. There we go. See, that's how we roll. We're going to make it up to you. 
Mark McGuire rookie, throw it in there. Put it in the box. So we know to send it to you. That's how we roll. We make it right. When we make it wrong, we make it right. That's how we roll. And in the one spot, spot number 27, legitimately 27, Randall Whittinghill, you get Danny Darwin. Crack the gum, break the gum, trash it. Danny Darwin, a gummy Danny Darwin. Upside down Danny Darwin. Actually perfectly centered Danny Darwin. So that is a great start to the pack. An amazing start to the pack. You know what else is a nice start to the pack? A future stars, a nice rookie. A rookie future stars. Steve Balboni, Andy McGaffigan, and Andre Robertson. Spot number 83. Oh, we're not on the right card. Let's pull up some values. Perfectly centered. The Yankees. We got Yankee Yankees back to back here. Spot number 28. Hmm, looks like there might not be a PSA 10 in this card. Double checking to see if there's a PSA 10 in this card right here. And there might not be. I don't think it's coming up. I'm going to double check. Okay. Yeah. No PSA 10. Four. And this is quite nice. This is a quite this is quite a nice card. Spot number 28, Chase Lively. That's grade worthy right there. That is grade worthy right there. I'm gonna throw that into a sleeve. Yep. Are we on the right? Hold on a second. Cause it's showing up as a different card. We are on 82. We would crack 82 tops, right? That is weird. Now I see our problem. All right, $32 in a 10 for an Andre Robertson rookie card. That is grade worthy. Spot number 29, Tommy John, New York Yankees. Highlight card, Jay Reynolds. Spot number 30, let's give that a little look. It's the Yankees, it's Tommy John. Spot number 46. Nope, seven bucks. Not worth it. Vern Rule. Beautiful centering so far. Beautiful centering. Spot number 30, Chase Lively. Spot number 31, earn run average, Nolan Ryan. Whoa, that's a nice, legendary Nolan Ryan for Robert Bisson. Very, very nice. Nice $50 in a 10. A little off center, left to right, but still, Nolan Ryan nonetheless. We need a little bit more of that. We need to kind of keep stirring up, stirring up some legend cards. We need to just let's get that mojo going. Come on, let's get that Hall of Fame energy going. Roger Erickson. Erickson. Spot number 32, Joe McKay. Spot number 33, Randy Marks. There you go, Robert Fisson. Oh, yeah. Finally getting some, some action going. We got a nice Minnesota Twins, Hoskin Powell. We're not going to give that away. That's not worth a card. We got not, I had a nice Bucky Dent. For spot number 34, you know, classic Yankee Bucky Dent. Nothing to shake a stick at right there. 
spot number 35, John Thomas, Steve Swisher. Ooh, we have not pulled this guy on the show yet. I don't think I've ever pulled maybe a legend card, like a, like a, like a reprint or something from one of the current baseball packs. But we have never pulled a vintage spot number 36, Robert Bisson. You hit another one, my friend. A beautiful, centered, wonderful Rod Carew Hall of Famer. All right, we're picking up some action. We are picking up some action. Beautiful Hall of Famer. Nice $40 in a 10. That is grade worthy. Card number 500. Robert Bisson, another pull. Spot number 37. Rudy May, Yankees. Jason Kaiser. Another perfectly centered card right there. Spot number 38. Ken Lemieux. Or, no, sorry, Landrew. Landrow. Spot number 39. Then we're going to have to uh, finish our sleeves. Ken Forsage. So we've got, remember at the beginning of the show, we had some last minute sales. And so we did not have enough sleeves prepared. So we did the first run. We didn't do the second run. So we will do a little housekeeping right now and finish that up as we wrap up this. 82, which, you know, hey, this, 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 this pack delivered. I, I'll take it. This pack delivered some Nolan Ryan, uh, some Nolan Ryan, some uh, Rod Carew. I love some Rod Carew. I'm down with that. Uh, we're in spot number 30, 40. And you're going to close out. 40 is closing out our pack. Nope, I have 41. Don Baylor. Nice Don Baylor. All right. Randall Whittinghill. Spot number 41. Closes out our pack, I think. Robert Bisson, you get Wayne Rekensk Rek Rekikiki. Rekikiki? I don't know, my man. If you were Hall of Fame, we would know your name. But instead, you're just an MLBer. I mean, you know what? That's hey, that's Hall of Fame of life right there. You play one at bat in the in Major League Baseball, you're a Hall of Famer, you know. So not bad, not a bad pack. Uh, a nice what was this, 50 bucks in a 10? It's very well centered. It's worth taking a shot. A beautiful Tommy John. A very nice Nolan Ryan. And closing us out, Rod Carew is also in there. A be I mean, beautiful, pristine Rod Carew. So, some nice pulls there in our 82. Way to, way to start up. It's been a little bit of a lull in the middle of the show here. Uh, so, I like that energy. I like that energy. Got some nice energies. Now let's get let's get the, uh, the the bottom slots for this rip for this rotation done. We are in spot number forty-two. That'll close out our first rotation. Forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. 46. We're making some good time. We're not even two hours in, and we've got almost 50 poles again. So we're going to keep the momentum going, keep it flowing, keep it going and flowing, going and flowing. That's how we roll. Keep the action. That's why we like, we like to keep it entertaining here at DreamWax.shop. We like to keep the rips going. I mean, when I go to YouTube and I want to watch packs being broken, I want to watch packs being broken. So we try to keep that momentum going. We like to keep the cards spewing. And, and going, you know, and that's how we roll. Next up, 2018 Don Ross football. We are looking for, we got whole packs. We are looking for Lamar Jackson, rookie. That's the big one. We're talking 80 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, in the Lamar Jackson rookie. 80 bucks graded. Um, 30 bucks raw. I mean, still 30 bucks raw. You pull Lamar Jackson, you got 30 bucks in your pocket instantly. Instantly. We're also looking for, you know, any inserts, variants, autographs, I mean, all that good stuff. Um, but spot number 42, Ryan Stefanski, Delvin Cook, Bobby Anderson, Robbie Anderson, and then the back card is just a regular rookie, and it is Marcel Atman. So, no big ones there, nothing to shake a stick at. 
Hopefully we don't have to flush these packs like we did the 2017. We did have a 2017 run a couple weeks ago. It was fire, like Christian McCaffrey, Saquon Barkley out of like five packs, but both those guys. So those are some nice $20, $30 spots right there. Chris Hogan, Amir Abdullah. Amir Abdullah was fun while he was here. JJ Nelson and is not a rated rookie. It is Trenton Cannon. So spot number 43. Jay Reynolds, that one's going to you. Man, so far, slim pickings. Two down, two to go in our whole packs. 44, Chase Lively. This one's going to you, my man. Jay Reynolds been out for a minute. He says, nice rookie card. Russell Wilson, you know, has some action. Probably a dollar card, though. Allen Robinson, Leonard Fournette. And then on the back, we've got a rated rookie. I see rated. We're looking for... Lamar Jackson, and it is Kyle Lor Lor Loletta for the Giants. Is he a quarterback? He is a quarterback. So unless he catches on somewhere and becomes, you know, some surprise standout star, stick him away. You never know. He, comes, he, he has like a Kurt Warner type career where he comes back, wins some Super Bowls, other than, other than that, um, that's a dud. Call that a dud. But at least it's a rated rookie. Spot in the last of our 2018 Don Ross football. We are looking for Lamar Jackson. Spot number 45, Chase Lively. Ben Roethlisberger, Big Ben. Christian McCaffrey, second year. There you go. Take that. Nice little pack here. Nice little action pack. And our back card is a rated rookie. And it is Cortland Sutton. Not who we wanted, but still, you got some good names there. We won't flush it. We got Ben. We got Russell Wilson. We got Christian McCaffrey. We won't flush these packs. Not a lot of value there, but still. Some nice future Hall of Famers. We are not flushing Hall of Famers. 46, you are... Spot number 46, Jay Reynolds. The last spot before we go to the third rotation of the breaks. We are on to 1990 Fleer basketball. Man, oh. Downside is we're doing whole packs, lower end, but we're, we're going out with a bang. We're going, actually, we're going out with a monster run the last two packs. After this, we are going to 89 score, which I've been wanting to break this. I've had this for a month. I've been wanting to break it. I've been saving it for a good break. And then we're closing out with 83 tops with Johnny Bench on the front. So some Hall of Fame action right there. I love it. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun close of the show. Let's, let's pull Michael Jordan or two out of here right now. Spot number 46. We're looking for inserts. We're looking for Michael Jordan. Jay Reynolds, let's get you a Jordan because there's no insert. Kenny, Mark Allier, Ben Benai, Manute Bull, Nick Anderson, Mookie Blaylock, Tyrone Muggsy Bogues, Dana Barros, Randy Brewer, Michael Adams, Willie Anderson, Jeff Grayer, Rolando Blackman, Danny Ainge, and Sherman Douglas. Some nice names, but not a good pack for you. Unless you're put, you know what? I bet you guys, if you guys are regulars on the show, you guys should be putting your, your whole packs that you've been getting. Save them up. See, maybe you can get a set going. See what you got towards a set, because I know we give away a few of these every week. Maybe they'll add up. Um, and now we are on to, we're flipping. We are flipping the rotation. Spot number one, back to the top. Make sure I got the right list this time. That's a little embarrassing. Not gonna lie, it's a little embarrassing, but you guys will get your cards. Correct list. I was wondering why it was like the same couple names over and over, and uh, I just didn't dawn on me. I was like, oh, we got the wrong freaking list. We were still on our, our 80, yeah. So, here we go. We are back, spot number 23. To spot number one to spot number 23. Looping it, Jason Kaiser, you're in the one spot. You're getting a whole pack of Fleer. We're looking for Jordan, we're looking for inserts. You'll see the insert because it's blue. 
right there in the run. You'll see it stands right out. It's not there. Willie Anderson, Jeff Grayer, Rolando Blackman, Dana Barros, Randy Brewer, Michael Adams, Nick Anderson, Mookie Blaylock, Tyron Bogues. This is the same similar run to the last pack. So Mark Allier, Benoit Benjamin, Manute Bull, Theodore, Vernon Maxwell, Kenny Smith. Man, it is a little bit of a tough night. We've got some decent, some decent pulls here and there, but not the normal fireworks that we have had. We've been very blessed here at DreamWax.shop to pull some monsters. So that was a very similar uh, print run for Jason Kaiser to the last pack. So let's get two Jordan print runs. Let's get two Jordans right now. Let's pull Jordan print runs back to back. I see some, some mailman on the back, some Carl Malone. Spot number two, Anthony Black. No insert. Derek McKee, Pooh Richardson, Todd Litchie, Sam Vincent, Charles Shackelford, Kelly Trapuca, Jeff Malone, Charles Smith, Mitch Richmond, Purvis, Daryl Walker, Terry Teagle, John Williams, Carl the mailman, Malone. He, there he is delivering the mail, delivering it. Spot number three. Our last two whole packs, John Thomas, Sidney Green, Lester, Del Curry, Harvey Grant, Ron Harper, Ron Higgins, Eric Lechner, Otis Thorpe, Dominique Wilkins, Hershey Hawkins, Detlef Shemp, Robert Parrish, Kevin Johnson, Johnny Newman, and Vinny Johnson. You know, just to, just to give us a little action. Detroit Basketball! Some bad boys right there. I'm just down the street. I can ride my bike to LCA uh, Arena. I might do that in the spring. Get a warm, warm, warm early spring day. I'll go see some Pistons. I like some basketball. I bet you I can get tickets on Stub over five bucks. Final 1990 Fleer Pack is going to spot number four. Robert Bisson, Byron Irvin, AC Green, Horace Grant, Purvis Elson. Grant Long, Danny Ferry, Terry Cummings, Ricky Pierce, Brad Davis, Dale Ellis, Tyron Corbin, Alex English, Sidney Green, Lester, Del Curry. Oh my goodness. Man, I think I feel like we've gone like two or three weeks without using this uh, using this button. But I am grabbing all five of these packs, even with some Hall of Fame. We're just, you know, because. We need some Jordan. Come on. We need some MJ. But, 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 you're going to flip the script right now. Because we're closing the show the last 20 minutes with two amazing packs. 89 clear football, or score, 89 score football. Barry Sanders. Followed by some Hall of Fame 83 tops. So uh, let's get some goodness going. Let's close out with a bang. This this was actually one of the headline packs. And it ended up being one of the headline packs. And this is also another headline pack. This is a higher value pack. These are two of the highest value packs in the stack. So we're definitely going off on, on, on a big finale here. So. Jay Reynolds, you don't have to do what? I don't have to flush the packs? He's saying, no worries, it happens. You don't have to do that. Uh, are you talking about sending you a Mark McGuire? Because I will. I am. I've got one. I've got one in my stack. I've got a stack of cards. As you guys probably see, a lot of times I throw extras into your envelopes. And I've got a stack of cards of nice Hall of Fame names and just different, different decent little cards um, that I throw in there. And I pull from that stack whenever I'm looking for cards. And there's some Mark, Mark McGuire rookies in there. So, might as well, might as well. I love it. I've been looking to give it to somebody. Might as well be you, my man. Uh, 89 score football. I know there's some big value in here. I know the, uh, the, the Barry Sanders is quite a big card. There's only 337 cards in this set. So that's good. It's a low print run. It's a low print run. 
It's a nice looking set too. It's a really nice looking set. Come on, baby boy. Come on out of here. I remember growing up, it was kind of a lower end pack, but it's really, the values on this pack have really shot up. So Barry Sanders is 300 bucks. Deion Sanders rookie is 160. Troy Aikman's 111 bucks. We got a bunch of guys at 50, 60 bucks. Tons of Hall of Famers. We are on spot number. Make sure we're in the right spot. Spot number five. Yes, Robert Bisson is chatting. 83 tops is loaded. Boggs, Gwynn, Sandberg rookies. Uh, there's some other guys in there. I, I, I know I can keep looking. I'm not going to pull this. It's kind of sticking. I'm going to gently snip. Gently snip. Okay, there we go. Get it open. I don't want to pull the cards. I don't want to nick the corners. So they're a little bit tricky to open. So we're going top to bottom. On the top is... Michael Carter. I love the color, love the look. Beautiful pack. So, spot number five. So, we're looking for blue. I see some blue in the middle and the bottom because I know Barry's blue. Michael Carter, $17 and a 10. It's got a little bit of a nick at the bottom. It's not grade worthy. John Thomas, it's going to you. organization over here for reorganization spot number six Steve Jordan Jay Reynolds yeah I, I kind of worked out where we saved one of the best packs probably the best pack out of the out of the, the frenzy tonight for last we did spot number seven Henry Ellard Jay Reynolds Football trivia quiz. Which player gained the most yards in one passing, in one catching, gained the most yards in one season catching passes? Lance Allworth, Don Houston, Bill Houghton, and Charlie Hennigan. Anybody know? Weirdly enough, I, I, I knew it. I, I didn't know, know it, but it, like the name popped out to me, and I'm like, I think it was him. Hit me up in the chat if you think you know. Uh, rookie, Wayne Martin. Going to spot eight. Yeah, love the look. Uh, Kyle Stinchcomb, love the look of the of the, uh, the 90 score, the 89-90 score. Is it 90 or is it 89? It says 89. Yeah. 89-90. Wayne Martin. Twenty-five bucks in a ten, not bad. Spot number nine, David Williams, rookie. Fifty bucks, fifty bucks in a ten, a little OC. But spot number nine, Jason Kaiser. That's a nice little pull for you. Fifty dollars in a ten. Another rookie, Bill Hawkins. I think Barry, is Barry green? Are the rookies green? I don't know, I thought Barry was blue. Maybe I'm just thinking Lions. Hit me up in the chat if you know, if you know how this runs. Again, I've never opened this before. Since, I mean, since I was 12, you know? And I can't remember how they run. Now I'm thinking about it, the Barry I think is a green. So maybe the rookies are green. And there's some more greens at the bottom. Bill Hawkins, 28 bucks in a 10. A little OC, a little more OC than you want. Jack Trudeau, perfectly centered. Spot number 11, Ryan Stefanski, a perfectly centered Jack Trudeau.
40 bucks in a 10. That is grade worthy. Back is perfect. Front is perfect. At first look, that's grade worthy. Ryan Stefanski, fire that off. Lorenzo Hampton, spot number 12. And then nice Hall of Famer coming up. Jay Reynolds. Seventeen bucks. In a ten. And spot number thirteen for Robert Bisson. You've got a Thurman Munson. So we'll give a little uh, I don't know what the value is here, but uh, perfectly centered. Perfectly centered. Perfect card. Beautiful. I think you got probably a little bit of value here. Okay, 30 bucks, 30 bucks. But Hall of Famer, and it's perfect. Throw that into a, throw that into a bulk, a bulk shipment. It's worth, worth the grade at first look. Albert Lewis, spot number 14. Sixteen bucks and a ten. Spot number fifteen. Jay Schroeder, quarterback. Slightly off center. Not bad though. Fifty bucks in a ten. For Jay Schroeder, Raiders quarterback. That's going to Jay Reynolds. Dalton Hilliard. I thought we had one more blue. Running back, Saints. Very well centered, front and back. Spot number 16, John, John Thomas. Not much value though, 13, 14 bucks in a 10. All right, we're down to our greens. Let's look it up. Is, is uh, Let's see if Barry Sanders is green. It is green. So we've got three greens left. Spot number 17. Let's see Robert Bisson, William Smith, Jay Reynolds. These final spots are going to you. Spot number 17. Robert Bisson, you're landing a Hall of Famer. Twenty-four dollars. Tony Dorsett. Followed by another Hall of Famer. For William Smith, you got Steve Largent. I guess these are record breakers on the back. So they're not rookies. The rookies are in the middle. You got a perfect Steve Largent. And record breaker. So that, that must be how they roll. So now we know. I'll get some more in. I'll get some more in for next week. Let's do one next week. Guaranteed. In the break next week. Because I like this and I want to pull a berry for Detroit. $24 and a 10. And Tim Brown closing out the pack. Spot number 19. Tim Brown. Jay Reynolds. So that was a, that was a nice pack. There was some value. There was some $50 pulls in a 10. There was some Hall of Fame names. We like it. We dig it. I'll, I'll take that pack. That's I, I, I'll take that pack as the opening act for the '83. The loaded 1983 tops cello pack to close out the breaks. To close this out, we're pro we're gonna loop. We'll get through this and loop a little bit into our fourth fourth pulls. Eighty-three tops baseball, pulling up some values. With nice Hall of Famer. This is double wrapped. Is this double wrapped? It is double wrapped. I wrapped it to wrapped it. It got wrapped to wrapped. Now I can't even find the seam.
so weird. I'm having the hardest time finding the seam. There it is. Got it. Yeah, this is a loaded, loaded pack. I mean, honestly, between all the 81, 82, 83s that we did today, this has the most rookies uh, out of all of them. So it doesn't have the Cal Ripken Jr. rookie, but it's got Wade Boggs, Tony Gwynn. It's a high value, it's a high value set. So Tony Gwynn's 625, Wade Boggs is 480, Mike Marshall, 460. Ryan Sandberg, rookie, 440. Ricky Henderson, all-star, 430. Man, it just goes down the list. 300, Earl Weaver. Dan Petrie's 189. I mean, any, any well-centered card is going to be some nice buku bucks here, even common. So, spot number 20, you're in the one spot. John Thomas. John, you know what you get, right? You realize what you get, John Thomas. Right in the one spot, right off the bat, in like Flint. Johnny Bench Hall of Fame Reds Hall of Fame Catcher Quite a bit of, quite a bit of C Super Veteran Quite a bit of C Front and back But hey, it's Hall of Fame action Everybody loves Johnny Bench uh, And you're talking $85 and a 10 Still a few dollars, quite off center But not a bad way to start out the pack and the beautiful thing is the next card is very well centered. So, spot number 21, John Thomas, also you. Centering, Mitchell Page. Centering kicked into gear. So we're looking pretty good. Spot number 22, John Thomas as well. You're, you're four in a row. Glenn Gulliver. Spot number 23, manager, George. Bamberger. And closing out, oh no, that's it. That's closing, that's closing out the first half of that run. Let's pull up the second half of the third rip. The third rotation, the third time around the block. Spot number 24, Xavier Gakusin. You've got Blue, Toronto Blue Jays hitting leaders. Pretty well centered. A little, a little angled at the top. Seventeen bucks and a ten. Spot number twenty-five. Ben Ogilvy. Make sure there's not another card on there. Cal Stinchcomb. Centering's looking pretty good. Spot number 26, Rufino Linares. I'm feeling Sandberg. I'm feeling Ryan Sandberg. I'm feeling Ryan Sandberg. I'm feeling him. Spot number 27, Alan Ripley. I see something. I see something I like. I see a third year. Ricky Henderson, record breaker. For spot number 28. That's Chase Lively. There's a Ricky Henderson for you. 40 bucks into 10. It's pretty sharp, pretty darn sharp. Maybe a small, per a few percent top to bottom, left to right. Back looks nice. There you go. That's a nice Hall of Fame hit right there, Chase Lively. He, he deserves a card saver. We are getting a decent amount of hits tonight, but it's like mid-range marginal hits. You know, we'd love to see one of those big bangers, one of those three, four-digit bangers. Spot number 29, Montreal Expos leaders, Steve Rogers, Al Oliver. Decent centering. Man, this guy's been following us around the last couple weeks. 111, that's a good number right there, 111. That's a powerful number. 22 bucks and a 10. This guy's been following us around a little bit. The legend, the old man. Ooh, nice back-to-back -back cards right here. Spot number 30 and 31, you're looking pretty good. Robert, uh, Chase Lively, nice little Tommy John. 
Nice little Tommy John. Man, the 83 design looks really good too. It's a beautiful design. Tops, man. Compared to the 2020, I'll take this. I'll leave the 2020 at the card show, at the LCS, the local card show. So Tommy John. Thirty bucks. Went at thirty bucks and a ten. It's not bad. It's actually pretty, pretty nice. Pretty close to gradable. And then sitting here, Robert Bisson, you got a beautiful Steve Carlton. One of the goats. Look at that. In the, in the from the stretch, middle top to bottom. But I'm gonna sleeve it out of the right out of the gate Steve Carlton We're looking at 35 bucks but still Hall of Fame super legend right there spot number 32 Dave Kingman That uh, spot number 32 is going to Joe McKay. Super veteran. Spot number 33, Dave Schmidt. John Thomas. Spot number 34. Hey, hey, you know what? You pull his legend card, you might as well pull his base. Johnny Bench, Hall of Fame. Top of the pack, middle of the pack, $55, spot number 34, Joseph Young, that's a pull right there, that is a pull, man, loves, that's a, this is the Johnny Bench pack right here, apparently, maybe we get Pete Rose, maybe we'll get a Pete Rose, Willie Upshaw, spot number 35, John Thomas, spot number 36, Gary Gaetti. I think we already seen this guy. Why can't we get why can't we get repeats of like Pete Rose or Nolan Ryan? Ben Ogilvy, spot number 37. Perfectly centered though. Spot number 38, Ken Forsich. This is a pack. I mean, no six hundred dollar cards yet, but this is a pack right here. This is this is the Hoff. The Hoff Pack. Spot number 39, you got a hit. Joseph Young, I'm, I'm calling your name again because you just pulled George Brett. Beautiful George Brett. Off center. Off center. But still, Hall of Fame action. George Brett deserves. George Brett, 30 bucks, deserves the, uh, the natural. George Brett definitely deserves the natural. Not, not messing around with, George, with that. He's one of the goats, one of the greats, one of the iron men of the sport. Spot number 40, Preston Hanna. Randall Whittinghill. Spot number 41, Robert Bisson, Dave Revering. We are nearing the end of the pack and we are nearing the end of the show. Hopefully this pack will get us through. It might not, we're gonna have to go dig. We're gonna have to go dig. Dave Revering. Spot number 37, Claudel Washington. Jason Kaiser. Now again, we're running out of slots because we did not make the final slots because of the last minute purchases. So, a couple more pulls and we gotta make a couple more things and that's when we'll figure out what we wanna do as far as closing out the night. Billy Gardner, Minnesota Twins, 38, Chase Lively. Spot number 39, 
Fred Lynn, go to Joseph Young. And we got to do the last couple cards. So spot number, we are on spot number 40. There we go, rounding us out, and then we can loop it, because whatever we do pull is probably going to loop us. It looks like we're going to loop. But you know how we roll, we always loop into, you know, the top guys. If you, if you get those random spots in the top, you know, you're going to get four pulls versus the guaranteed three pulls we do. But spot number 40, Dick Ruffoven, Fluff, Ruffin, 40, Randall Whittinghill. Spot number 41, Larry Wisenton. Spot number 42, Kent Kogovi, and that's closing out our 83 Tops Pack, which was, I mean, just bang loaded with Hall of Fame. Bang loaded with Hall of Fame. I love it. We didn't get the big guys, the big guns at the top. But we definitely, let's. Johnny Bench. Ricky Henderson. Tommy John. Steve Carlton. called this the loaded frenzy and that was a loaded hall of fame pack so i love it but we've got a few slots left and we want to get into the, the get some people some fourth pulls so let me dig into my box of goodies and see what we can pull out all right Decisions, decisions, choices, choices, decisions. Who's at the Who's at the top? Who's re at the top? We've got. Uh, hmm. We've done a ton of baseball tonight, so we're gonna switch it up. We're not. We don't go cheap here either, man. Whoa, this was an expensive show. I'll tell you that. This was an expensive show. I'll tell you. We we had a lot of sales though, so it's good. Uh, but we are going to do 1982 Tops football. This is a good pack. Let me pull up who's in here. I know there's a big rookie in here. There's a big rookie. We did 81. We're going to do 82. To close out the show, because we, we sold some last-minute slots, and we didn't quite have enough product to get into our fourth rotation. We like to get into the fourth rotation. I got my sleeves right here. Planning ahead, and that's how we roll. We're gonna we're gonna start breaking, and pull up the values. So we're on spot number. Where did we leave off? Uh, forty. We left off on spot. No, no, we left on forty-two. So we're on spot number forty-three. Let me double check that. Make sure. Yes, spot number forty-two is where we left off, so we're on spot 43, Jay Reynolds, you were on the top spot, 82. Make sure they didn't miss, sometimes tops in these old football packs, they, they packaged in the wrong package, so I wanna make sure that we didn't have another year. But right on top, Hall of Famer, two Hall of Famers? Double Hall of Famer, double Hall of Famer, or wait, is Ke yeah, Keller Wins was Hall of Famer. And, but I love it, right there. 
I don't even know where we're at. I'm still pulling up values, but Jay Reynolds, you got another hit there. You got another hit. Mm, it's not coming up, but I will look it up in a minute. But you got a gummy. Hopefully it comes off. A gummy. Kellen Winslow. Dwight Clark. Centering looks perfect. Right on top in the one gun. Oh, so gentle. Like a surgeon. Like a surgeon's hands. Oh. Yeah, you got a little bit. A little bit on there, but I'm going to send it to you because it's a nice card. And it, 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 man, beautiful card. A little, just that gum. That gum got it. That gum got it. I mean, it's still there, but uh, receiving leaders, beautiful card. Hall of Fame legends on top. Kellen Winslow, Dwight Clark. Nice card. We got a card that nobody in Detroit wants to see. Hold, coming up right now. But let me go back to see what the big guys, now I've got the values up. Okay, that's right. We've broken a bunch of this, and we've pulled one of these. This is the Lawrence Taylor rookie, rookie pack. Lawrence Taylor, 1500 bucks and a 10. We pulled one about a month ago. It was a little off center, but still, incredible card. Uh, in the frenzy, somebody for five bucks pulled a Lawrence Taylor all-pro rookie. Um, out the bag. Ronnie Lott rookie is 850 bucks. Anthony Munez rookie, 500. You got Joe Montana in here. You got John Stallworth, 170 bucks. Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. This is a loaded pack. That's right. It took me a minute. It always takes me a minute. We break so much stuff. I forget what's what. But next up, 44, Matt Millen. Not so much in Detroit. Not so much, but God bless him. I hear he's a great guy. I hear he's like one of the best dudes ever. Which is probably, I think, why it was so hard for um, uh, Ford when he was around. It's twenty bucks in a ten to fire him because he was such a nice guy. They they waited years to fire him. Chase Lively, that's going to you. Uh, another Dwight Clark receiving card, right right here and very well centered. Spot number forty-five. Team leaders, 49ers team leaders. So. Another Hall of Fame action, 17 bucks and a 10, slightly OC, but worth, worth a sleeve. Oh, this is like the mediocre day. No monsters, but we've pulled some nice mid-range mediocre cards. A quite off center, in action, Pete Johnson, for spot number 46. And now we're looping back to the top. And bro, you're going to be happy we looped to the top. And man, the number one slot, remember, this was... Uh, was it Jason Kaiser? He bought in in the last minutes. He bought the last slots of the frenzy, and it's paying off because right here in the one slot is Joe Montana. Passing leaders with Ken Anderson. That's a hit right there. Your, your last minute purchase, Jason Kaiser, paid off with a second year Joe Montana. Let's get the list corrected. So Jason Kaiser, look up 257. Oh, we're looking at 50 bucks in a 10. It's pretty sharp, maybe, top, maybe left to right a little bit, a little bit, but that's a nice car. That's a Hall of Fame right there. Put him in the wrong sleeve. Let me re-sleeve him. Get my get my fourth my fourth pass sleeves for the fourth rotation on the frenzy in the final moments. Two and a half hours in. God bless you guys for hanging with me on a Thursday night for chasing some cards for going after some dream wax and some dream packs. We had a beautiful time. Uh, we had fun with that with that Joe Montana pack. Looking for we we got some Jomo. We got a ton of this is a Jomo night. This was the mediocre night. This was the '80s baseball night, and this was the Joe Montana night. We just didn't get the right Joe Montana. Spot number two, Burt Jones. 
Give him a little look. Give him a little look-see. Spot number three, Wilbert Montgomery. I think this was the card that was like, might have been priced really high for some reason. Maybe in one of the other ones, but uh, 20 bucks in 10. Spot number four, we'll do it. All pro safety, Nolan Cromwell. We'll give it to you, Robert Bisson. That's going to you. Spot number five, Gary Ellis. John Thomas, a little, bit of a, a little bit of a rough cut on the side. Spot number six, Brian Kelly. Jay Reynolds. There is no 10 in this Brian Kelly. Oh, there it is. No, there it is. 14 bucks. In a 10. Spot number seven, Gary Dunn. We're looking for Lawrence Taylor. We are looking for Ronnie Lott. We are looking for Hall of Famers. We already did pull one Lawrence Taylor out of one of these packs for, for five bucks. I mean, really a dollar sixty-six. Gary King, spot eight. Spot nine, Ray Oldham, Lions. Was spot nine, spot ten, and we are closing in on the final cards of this broadcast and this frenzy. Three and a half hours in. Thank you for tuning in. Carl Hairston. Spot number 11, Jack Youngblood. That's a fun name. And spot number 12, Jay Reynolds, closing us out. One of our homies. Getting Harold Jackson. And, unless I'm mistaken, that is a wrap on the broadcast today. I am KT. I am your curator of cards here with you roughly every week, roughly every week, breaking cards, chasing dream wax, getting you into your dream packs, going after those legend cards. Hey, just listed 1993. Tops Baseball with some gold. Go grab some. $6.50, you get eight cards plus the gold. The Jeter gold is like 900 bucks. That's what we're looking for. The Jeter base is like 150. No, it's 200. 200. We've got some other stuff in there. Stuff's getting close to selling out. We've got like three, four cards left in a ton. Actually, some super high-end stuff. Uh, the 1980 Tops Basketball. We're looking for a $100,000 bird Julia Serving, Magic Johnson, Bird Magic, rookie card right there. Uh, it's 100 grand to 10. That is, it's like $48, if I'm not mistaken, a slot. We've got three or four spots left. It's, we're gonna break it, I think we're gonna break it next week. Go get a pack, go get a, go get a card. Let's, and there's a bunch of other variations of Bird, rookies, Magic Johnson rookies. It's a great pack, we opened up one uh, a month and a half ago. Let's grab another one. Chase says he grabbed uh, a couple of the 93s he did. Um, we've got, we're, we're, we're moving that pretty quick too. I think we're going to break it. Next week might be a small, maybe we'll do a small frenzy. Maybe we'll do a smaller frenzy because we might have a lot of paid packs to break. But all my peeps in the chat, thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. Love you guys. Bless you wherever in the world you are. We will see you back here in a week. We're out. Peace out. Bye.